Hello my friends welcome to Revolves Guide Center and this is Let's jump right into the video Hey so first make sure to install GeForce Experience and uh, the graphics driver and make sure it has been updated only then you'll have uh, the NVIDIA control panel option when you right click after that uh, make sure to click this NVIDIA control panel option in NVIDIA control panel go to adjust image settings with preview and uh, select use the advanced 3D image settings or uh, if you don't care about the quality and you just need the uh, performance you can uh, choose use my preference emphasizing and uh, select performance uh, but I would uh, just uh, prefer use the advanced 3d image settings as it's the medium ground next move on to manage 3 settings and make sure you select program settings as global settings is for all the games that you play so if you change settings in global settings it changes for all the games so you don't want that so go to program settings and select valorant in this drop down menu and if you don't have valorant in this drop down menu just click add and uh, select Valorant from here or if you even don't have it here just click browse and uh, search for your Valorant exe file and uh, just choose that now moving on to settings make sure image sharpening is off anisotropic filtering is off and all the other anti-aliasing settings must be off uh, if you don't know what anti-aliasing is anti-aliasing is just a setting which is used to create a smooth illusion of edges so if you have this setting off you might have uh, pixelated edges for the objects present in the game but if you don't care about the quality and you just need FPS just keep the setting off and you might also gain a 5 to 10 FPS boost. Uh, moving on to background application max frame rate make sure this is off. Uh, CUDA GPU make sure you select all your GPUs present I just have one so I have selected this low latency mode make sure it's ultra so that uh, you then uh, you don't get that much input lag in game max frame rate make sure it's off as you already have this setting in valorant multi frame sample aa off open gl rendering gpu make sure you select your preferred graphics card for me it's geforce gtx 1063 gb power management mode prefer maximum performance for maximum fps Shader cache make sure it's on as it could reduce the stutter uh, inside the game Anisotropic sampling options make sure it's on Negative LOD bias change it to allow Quality uh, change it to high performance as you need a uh, maximum amount of performance if you have a data PC <laughs> Trilinear optimization make sure it's on Threaded optimization on and triple buffering and vertical sync off as you don't need a uh, uh, minimum fps based on your refresh rate of your monitor so make sure vertical sync is off and virtual reality pre-rendered frames just doesn't matter just keep it one after you select all the settings make sure to click apply in order to save the settings that is all the NVIDIA settings for Valorant in order to increase your FPS and reduce input lag and stutters in game. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I'll be back with another awesome video like this. Until that, have a great time. Peace. <laughs>